program counter and loops. The program counter is a register in the CPU and it stores the address of the next instruction to be carried out. And we can change the contents of the program counter when we're doing unconditional jumps, conditional jumps, and when calling and returning from subroutines. I'll be featuring jumps in this. So let's have a look at a sample program here. We're going to start, we'll start always with the first instruction. When we're carrying out the first instruction, the program counter has got the address of the next instruction that was 0, 01 in there. So what we're going to do with this instruction, we're going to load a number into that register. Move to the next instruction, copy the input in. So we've got the inputs, we're going to be using this in this video. So the, uh, the input gets copied in to this register. And then the next instruction we're going to do, program counters points in this next line, but we're going to be carrying out an AND between these two registers. And the answer has come out as zero, for this operation. This instruction here, jump Z, trip one. So if jump, if the result of the previous operation was zero, to the address of this label. So the result was zero, so what we're going to do is we're going to find where this is. This is at zero, one. So this instruction, what it does, if the result of the operation before it was zero, we're going to uh, load the program counter with the address relating to chip one, which is up here. So we carry out this instruction next. Copy the input in. Do the AND instruction again, the AND function. This time it's not zero. So when we get to this line, jump if it's zero. Well, it isn't zero. So we're just going to carry on as usual because the program counter always shows us the next instruction address. So we go to here. This is an example of an unconditional jump. So it doesn't matter what the results of previous operations were. It will always do this. So jump show. Show is at this address here. So what this instruction would do is it will load the program counter with address one zero relating to the label show. So the next instruction we'll do is this one here. So I'm just going to carry this out. It's going to load up uh, S7 with 0F and I'm going to copy that to the output. And now we carry on. Uh, so we copy the input in again. We're doing the ANDing function. The result of the AND is not zero. So this next instruction here, jump if not zero, trick two. So if the result of this previous operation was not zero, we're going to jump up to here. But the result of this was not zero. There it is. The answer is zero two. So what we're going to do is we're going to find the address corresponding to the label trick two, which is there, one two. And that gets copied to the program counter. So the next instruction we carry out is in S2 comma I. So we copy the input in again. Then we do the ending. And the result of this ending is zero. So when we do this line, jump if it's not zero. Well, it it was zero. So what we're going to do is just carry on, not change the program counter at all. We just carry on like this.